This video explains the contents of the iRacing Helmet Template and provides a few tips. The iRacing Helmet Template is downloaded from the Design Your Helmet tab in the Paint booth. Click on the Download Template button. How to export paints to TGA files and upload to trading paints is explained in another video, which is linked in the description. Note, helmets do not have specular maps. The helmet paints are exported to a TGA file named helmet underscore member ID dot TGA in the documents iRacing paint folder. Helmet paints in iRacing are 1024 pixels by 1024 which is half the resolution of the car template. The low resolution is not ideal, when zoomed in helmet paints have a soft or fuzzy look. Because the helmet is so small, they kinda look okay when watching a race. As a general guideline, avoid fine lines and complex detail, simple designs work well. Let's go through the template content. The first layer group is named Turn Off before exporting TGA. This layer is not part of the helmet paint, turn it off before exporting your paint. This layer provides guidance while painting the helmet. There is an iRacing copyright image, we never need to see that. The wire layer is only mildly useful. Sometimes it's helpful to export the helmet paint with the wire frame, then look at the helmet in the paint booth, use the wires as guidance for where you want lines and decals placed. The mask takes away the background and makes parts stand out. The license shows where I racing will apply the driver license color during race sessions. It's at the side edges of the visor sun strip. The helmet decal layer shows mandatory parts that iRacing will apply color and texture to. We can't paint in these areas. The paintable area group layer is the actual helmet paint. This is where you paint the helmet. This is what you export to TGA for iRacing and trading paints. Let's go through the contents. The seat belt labels are no longer paintable, iRacing overwrites this content. You may as well delete this layer. The Lotus helmet is the color to be applied to the old leather open face helmet on the Lotus 49. The seatbelt color box is no longer used, iRacing overwrites this content. You may as well delete this layer. The helmet sun strip is a good place to put your name or advertising. It runs along the top of the visor. The wire frame shows where this will be placed on the visor. The next layer is the visor iRacing will apply a reflective effect to the visor. iRacing also apply translucent tear-off strips over the visor. There are two interesting techniques you can apply to the visor. You can recolor the visor to get a cool modern look. There are two methods to apply this effect. Firstly you could simply apply a solid color to the visor. Make a selection of the visor and flood fill it with color. Within Affinity Photo we can click on the FX tab, choose Color Overlay, select a color. That's a non-destructive action, you can change or turn off the color overlay at a later date. Alternatively you could recolor the visor. This method retains the visor texture. Click on Adjustment. Select Recolor. Choose the Hue, Saturation and Lightness values. Then drag the adjustment below the visor layer to limit its impact to just the visor. The other interesting technique is to paint the helmet as a head, in which case you would normally paint the eyes within the visor. Here are a few amusing examples. Next are the pattern layers from 1970-ish. These are the patterns you see in the paint booth. You can use content from this group if desired. I normally delete this group to make the PSD template file smaller and reduce clutter. Finally there is the helmet base color at the bottom of the layer stack. Let's switch over to a helmet template with parts helper layers. There is a link in the description to this PSD file. Turn the parts helper layer on and expand the group. 
This highlights the areas we are going to paint within the paintable area. The red arrow lip only appears on older high-speed single-seat cars. The purple air intake typically appears on closed-roof race cars with an air pipe to the helmet. The sections group breaks parts down into smaller named sections. These are for approximate reference only. Purple at the top of the helmet. Orange at the back of the helmet. Yellow at the front of the helmet. There is a green parts layer showing where the sunstrip will be applied to the visor. There is also a blue parts layer for the entire helmet. The black strip at the bottom of the helmet is part of the mandatory layer, you can't paint that. That covers all the content within the helmet. Here is a finished example of a simple helmet paint. One point to bear in mind. Whenever you draw or put decals onto a curved surface, it's highly likely distortion will occur. It's not too bad on broad curves but gets worse on tight curves. Be prepared to distort your drawing and decals to make the rendered helmet look better. 